Hi, Patricia, and in today's training, I'm going to show you how do you turn your ideas into reality, like make them work. What is the process to actually achieve that? I mean, you may have so many good ideas, or you may have been learning amazing ideas right now, but then you have gone through this experience that somehow these ideas are just so hard to execute or make them real. But imagine if you can make them real, how much money you could be making from all of your marketing ideas and your business ideas and your million dollar ideas that you have right now, right? So let's get started with that. To make your ideas work, there are actually three key steps, right? Of course, the first step is the idea itself. So you've gotten this idea, whether uh, you got it from a course, a seminar, from a friend, or when you're in a shower, However you get it, you got it, right? So let's just write it down here uh, on the whiteboard. So the, step, the steps are, step one, I would say, right, is the idea itself, right, that you have the idea. So what is step two? And, and here's where the idea starts to become real. Now, most people will just have the first step. They have a good idea, right? And then they write it in, in, in the books or into their smartphone or anything like that or just keep it inside their mind, right? So now, step two here is actually the boring process called planning, right? Planning is where it makes the idea real or not. So there are going to be a few key things that I'll be sharing with you. In fact, today's training, I'm just going to focus on planning because I feel that it is the planning process that makes or breaks the idea. So the first part of planning is this, that the first thing that you need to do is you need to make the decision which idea that you want to use. So which means that the first thing that you need to do is list down all the ideas that you have and see which are the best ideas for you to do it at this moment of time. Not tomorrow, not next year, but right now. You know, if you have, you have all these ideas, which one will be the one that you're going to go ahead with, right? And for you to decide which idea, there are a few criteria. But to simplify the process, right? It boils down to two key things or whether you're going to go ahead with that idea or not, right? The first one is your personal preference. Are you personally invested in that idea? I mean, do you like the idea? Do you have interest in, in that project, in that idea itself? Or is it an idea that will excite you? Or it's an idea that actually, you know, doesn't, doesn't really give you the excitement at all. That, you know, you are forcing yourself to do that. Like when you wake up in the morning, you, you, you go like, oh man, I got to do that again. You know, is that, is that the thing, right? Now, the second thing is the monetary gain that you have. Now, we are talking about business here. So I'm not talking about ideas, about any other things, right? Of course, you could be doing for any other reasons, but for this training, we're talking about, we're referring to business ideas, like which ideas will help you to make money. So it should justify for the amount of work that you're going to put in. Like, is this amount of money uh, that you're going to make? So you start to compare which one will probably give you the highest yield in that sense. All right. So those are the two uh, simple ways of how you decide which idea should you choose. Of course, there are many other reasons. Uh, another one which I, I didn't really bring it up because I, I feel that it is something very logical is this, is that if it against your own integrity, if it is just something that, you know, it's like, uh, I would say that violate rules and so on, you know, uh, violate whether the, 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 the law or violate your own personal principles, you know, you should not do that, right? So that is, that is for sure that, that it's not going to work out well, right? So you have that. So that's the first thing. So let's just write it down here. Let's find a space. Okay, let's just write it down here. So in terms of planning, the first thing is that you need to decide which idea you want. Right, which idea you want, and to know which idea you want is first, it's is it something that makes you excited? I would just write it as interested. The next point, it's the money that you can make because 
you are doing this for business. So this has to be a priority. So once you have that, once you compare all the ideas that you have, the second part of planning is actually to access your resources, right? So what do I mean by that? So you need to, you need to think, you need to be in this situation to be so-called realistic, whether that idea can be turned into something real or not. So you need to assess all of the resources that you have and mainly three resources, right? So let's just write it down here. Number two, you need to plan it out, right? So here are the three things, right? The first one is money slash fun. Do you have the money or the fun to make your idea real or not? Because sometimes it needs money. Let's face it, if you want to build a business, there are, there are costs incurred. Maybe it's not that much cost if it's an online business, uh, but there are still costs, okay? So you need, to, you need to, to make sure that you have that, right? Otherwise, you can't get it started. The next one, right? The next one is this. Do you have the time for you to do it. So this is self explanatory If you're tied up with other projects, if you're tied up with, uh, if you have a job and you're tired of your job, that is going to be a challenge for you to make your idea real. And if you can't find time to do it, guess what happened? After a while, well, you will start to feel demotivated and then um, the idea will just die off, right? And then the next one, number three, it's the people. To make your idea a reality, does it involve other people? Um, do you need other talents? Do you need other expertise and so on? So then you need to go through your so-called roller legs and see, are you able to put up your team to make this happen? If you don't have these people uh, and you just have the idea, let's say you have this idea to build a software business, right? You have this really great idea, but then, you lack the resource of having the right people, in this case, maybe a programmer uh, or a team of coders and you don't have that. Well, guess what? That's not going to work, right? So you got to go back to, 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 to this part again to figure out which idea that you can actually do. Of course, there's also another key thing under the resource is that do you have either the expertise or I would say the skill, or I would say the knowledge, right? The knowledge, the skill, or the expertise to make this idea true or not, to make this idea real or not, right? So as you can see, most people have idea, and then they don't really go through a proper planning process, and then they jump to step three, right? Because we have been taught that taking action is important, and don't get me wrong, taking action is critical. It's very, very, very important, right? So they go for action, right? Why do they go for action? Because it's exciting. You got this idea, and you just can't wait to get started, right? You're, you're all excited, and you want to do it, right? Again, taking action is critical. It's, it's, it's so critical. Uh, ingredient for you to achieve success. In fact, without taking action, nothing happens, right? But they sort of missed out this part here because this is the so-called boring process, right? But if you have the idea and then you plan it well, you know how much time you're going to spend on, on taking action and so on, then you will probably have a better chance of making your idea a reality having your million dollar idea to become your million dollar business in that sense, right? With that said, it's pressure on here. And if you feel that some of this is valuable and, and you pick up some ideas and so on, or you just enjoy this video, this training, just go ahead and let me know by liking the video, share, leave a comment, whatever social media allows you to do uh, nowadays, go ahead and do that. With that said, it's Patricia, and I look forward to see you one day in person. Take care. Bye for now.